Hello, welcome back. Let's take a quick look at uh, the levels command for further understanding of the histogram and the level command also. So I have a blank white page. You can see that in my histogram I have all my pixels in the far right so that it's showing me everything it's white. Let's take this out and put it here. Well, as I said in a previous video, the nice thing about the histogram is that um, it shows you uh, actually two graphics. If you enter some adjustment, it's gonna show you in uh, gray solid on the background the image before and it's going to show you in uh, black in front the new image how is going to look the histogram after the adjustment that you made just one sec you're gonna see that so let's make let's see how le okay let's make a new layer okay and now let's make a simple gradient bar now if I select select that my uh, histogram is going to show you to show me just the pixel in the selection if I deselect it it's going to show me the entire image or just the selected layer and this one is the selected layer okay we're gonna leave it on the selected layer now let's make a duplicate on that layer let's move it a little bit down and now we are going to work with the levels command on uh, this second stripe and see the differences in the histogram let's put it here so I we can zoom in the video to better see what's in there so we're gonna look in the histogram and after that we are going to look um, in the levels histogram are a little bit different you're gonna see it's better to check out things in here in the histogram palette okay shortcut for the levels is command L this is my levels so this is what I'm having now okay now first thing there are uh, those three buttons the whites mid tones and blacks this is my histogram so these are the blacks let's say that till here somewhere it's this part uh, here are the mid tones this and here are the whites uh, those are all my pixels if I take let's say let's begin with the white if I take a white slider and drag it left practically all the pixels that are let's say I will drag it till here all those pixels that I'll select I select now are going to become white so let's say that those pixels are going to become white you can see that so now I've got clearly showing me here what it's happening this is going to be my histogram because I was working on those pixels and I did make them white you see this little bar in here that it's for pure white it's larger now it's longer it goes up it's a little bit tricky you're gonna say okay where those pixels are gone where where are they but they become just this little line that is going to show me how much white I have if I move forward now I have less 
pixels in here because all of them are white and mapping in here. If you want to reset, you can press Option or Alt on Windows and uh, choose Reset. Now let's uh, see the same thing for the black. If I'm going with all those pixels, I'm dragging my slider till here, all those pixels are going to become black. So not anymore, I'm not going to have any more these pixels in here as uh, dark gray, but dark gray is gonna be somewhere in here. So let's see that. It clearly, it clearly show you that uh, my dark pixels move somewhere around here. The histogram, it's something uh, like a flip to the previous white, uh, white uh, slider dragging. Okay, if I move the midtones, it means let's say that I'm gonna move it to left. It's gonna say that all these pixels are gonna be lighter and those ones are gonna be darker. So it means that those ones are going to remain dark and those ones are going to get lighter and lighter. Something like this. So those are darker and you can see that now I have more pixels in the bright zone of the image, less pixels in the dark side of the image. Okay, that's with the sliders. Output levels uh, are kind of clipping your image. So let's say that my, this is my black. Right now my black is pure black. But if I want the maximum black to be this gray, I can drag that slider. So now everything gets squashed. You get you kind of squeeze in less area. Nothing changes in here in the level histogram in the level window, but you are going to ch see your change in the histogram palette. Same thing for white. If I wanna say that my um, highest white point is here, so my entire image is going back to whiter pixels and uh, midtones and more blacks, I can drag this and I can squeeze all my pixels in that area. So I'm not going to have anything in here. In the um, levels window, you have some other options that you can load and save some preset things. You can insert numerical values if you like that kind of working. You can go and click uh, on parts of the image. You can go on options, but for now, we are going to stick uh, just to this short video just to understand what the sliders do and how it is going to change uh, my graphical histogram view. Okay, hope it helped and you can always go to phsh.ro and see more in there. Thank you, have a nice day.